Hi, I'm an instructor for uh, Visual Journals, A Space of Possibilities, and uh, I'm trying ScreenFlow for the first time, also because it's my first online course, so I'm trying to mix the sort of combination of between what I do normally in real time and versus what I do now online, so we're giving this a shot. Um, this has been taught by several different instructors, and so I'll be learning along the online element with this whole journal process, but most of all, I just can't tell you guys how excited I am to see what you're going to make. Uh, this is a course I'd love to take personally, but <laughs> on the other end of it, I get to do the cooler part where I get to see all the things that you do and talk to you about your process. What's even better is that you guys get to do it with each other. So uh, hopefully it'll be sort of a double, triple, super learning <laughs> experience. Uh, first off, we have the syllabus. Uh, but it'll, uh, it's, I also have very slow internet, so perhaps uh, you want to make sure that we do this today, um, try, or today, between today and Tuesday, because that's when we'll kind of kick things off, because that's the first, like, official MCAT start date. But you want to make sure that you download a copy of the syllabus, keep this with you at all times. It really spells out everything that we're going to do, everything that you need to know, and um, sort of the rules of the game. I will always refer back to it, so please make sure you download a wonderful copy of the syllabus, and I'll get to that in a second. Also, your timeline. This will be in the syllabus as well, but just to make sure that you have this copy of um, the timeline, this will pretty much be the way your homework goes. You can pre-plan it in advance, which I'm a big fan of. And if you need to work ahead, if you have questions, concerns, please let me know. How to document your work. This is going to be really, really important. Not only one, because you want to have quality images of your work. Um, your grades are important when you're in school. Your grades are important while you're uh, obviously going through school and need to graduate for lots of different things. But once you get out of school, I find what's most critical is that you have really good documentation of your work. It's bottom line. In fact, it's the only way to say that you did anything. Everyone's just going to want to see your portfolio, your website. Bottom line is you want to have really good images. So make sure that you save both in a file of all the images that you have taken. Keep the large format file. But also, when you post online, you're going to have to make sure that everything is smaller on this largest size, uh, 500 pixels. Really important because we're going to post a bunch of images and we don't want to fill the whole course up with ginormous pictures that look small but are actually, you know, gigantic. So please, please check the size of the files before you post them up. Um, suggested textbooks. Uh, in the past, they've had recommended books. I am a big fan of trying to either download, group download, different uh, books, finding uh, chapters that are good and making sure that I scan them. So these are a few suggestions. I have Journal Junkies, I have the art making one, and there's another one, which the title, of course, I'm completely blanking out on. And I realize in the background there's a Doberman going through the kitchen. <laughs> I'm sure you'll get to know Sunny really well. Sunny, get down. Oh, anyway. Um, but it's uh, at Blick. I know there's some courses going on over there, so it's something worth checking out. But use these for research. In fact, I'll often cite some of them, and if I get a chance, scan some chapters in it. Materials are totally to your own choice. You can go nuts with this. I've already had a question, you know, what if I want to post my pictures online? You can even have an entirely online, online created journal. That is fine with me. But make sure if you've got physical items that you will be turning in these physical items. But your, it is your joy de vivre. Whatever you want to make stuff out of, um, please, by all means, just, you know, keep it in mind uh, if you're turning those things in. The regular MCAD rules, you know, no bodily fluids, no dead animals, etc., etc. Um, do see the MCAT handbook for that. Um, yes, see, lovely. Uh, photo bucket tutorial, I don't really use that, but if you guys do, then by all means. Visual research, you can use this too for this first week, or especially right before you start tackling the assignments, is to really get some examples of what other visual journals are like. And of course, scanning images, this is all, you'll hear about it again and again and again with me. So this is the first breakdown here. I'm going to see how this like video goes, and um, I'm sure you guys will be all laughing about what a dork I am, because I'm totally feeling it right now. I have to watch myself do this, so... Uh, in short order, time out, and we'll go through the syllabus. Okay.